Lights, camera, action. Welcome back to Smash List, the ultimate destination for all various top lists. Today, we're diving into the movie magic of 2023 and bringing you the top 10 must-watch films so far this year. From spies to superheroes, it's been a blockbuster ride. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss a frame. Let's roll. Kicking things off at number 10 is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Tom Cruise is back as the iconic Ethan Hunt, and this time he and the MF team are on a mission to track down a terrifying new weapon that threatens all of humanity. If it falls into the wrong hands, it could mean the end of the world. The stakes are high, and the race is on. Ethan and his team must use all of their skills and resources to stop this weapon from being used. But they are up against a mysterious and powerful enemy who will stop at nothing to get what they want. Swinging into the ninth spot is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. This highly anticipated sequel to the animated sensation into the Spider-Verse follows Miles Morales and his fellow Spider-People as they explore the multiverse. Together, they must face off against a villain more powerful than anything they have ever encountered before. This is a high-rated movie you have to put on your watch list. Shrinking down to number 8, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly return as Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne in this third installment of the Ant-Man series. When Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne, along with Hope's parents, are accidentally sent to the quantum realm, they soon find themselves exploring the realm, interacting with strange new creatures. In Quantumania, we also get introduced to a new supervillain, Kang. This movie is a must-watch for the Marvel fans, as it opens a new chapter to the universe. Taking the seventh spot is Oppenheimer. Cillian Murphy steps into a dramatization of the life of J. Robert Oppenheimer, a physicist who played a pivotal role in the development of the atomic bomb, which helped end World War II. The film follows Oppenheimer from his university days to the post-war period, when his fame made him a target of political intrigue. At number six, we have Barbie. Margot Robbie takes center stage as Barbie in this live-action film based on the beloved Mattel doll franchise. Barbie is having a crisis. She's questioning everything about her world and her existence. She's always been told that she's perfect, but now she's starting to wonder if that's really true. She's starting to see the cracks in the perfect world she's been living in, and it's starting to make her doubt everything. Soaring into the fifth spot is Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. James Gunn returns to direct the final chapter of the original Guardians lineup. Our beloved band of misfits are looking a bit different this time. Peter Quill, still reeling from the loss of Gamora, must rally his team around him to defend the galaxy and protect one of their own, a mission that, if not completed successfully, could quite possibly lead to the end of the Guardians, as we know them. Revving up to the fourth position is Fast X. The Fast and Furious franchise is back with its tenth installment. Fast X marks the commencement of the final chapters in one of cinema's most illustrious and enduring global franchises. It's a journey that spans three decades. And remarkably, it's still going strong with the same core cast and beloved characters from its inception. Through countless missions and against insurmountable odds, Dom Toretto and his tight-knit family have consistently outsmarted, outmaneuvered, and outpaced every adversary they've encountered. However, now they face their most formidable opponent to date who is driven by a thirst for revenge and possessed on shattering the bonds of this family while threatening to obliterate everything and everyone. Dom holds dear. Taking the third place is John Wick, Chapter 4. Keanu Reeves returns as the legendary assassin, John Wick. This time, he's on the hunt for a way to defeat the High Table the secret organization that controls the world's assassins. But before he can earn his freedom, he must face off against a new enemy with powerful alliances across the globe. This enemy has the power to turn old friends into foes, and Wick will need all of his skills and resources to survive. 
Runner-up is The Flash. Ezra Miller as Barry Allen is struck by lightning and is gifted with the extraordinary power of the Speed Force. He uses this power to run back in time and save his mother. But in doing so, he creates a new timeline where there are no superheroes and General Zod has returned. To defeat Zod, Barry must team up with a retired Batman, another version of himself, and an imprisoned Kryptonian Supergirl. And now, our number one movie this year, we're diving under the sea with The Little Mermaid. Halle Bailey stars as the enchanting Ariel in this live-action adaptation of the Disney classic. Ariel, the youngest daughter of King Triton, is a beautiful and spirited mermaid with a thirst for adventure. She longs to experience life on land, and she makes a deal with the evil sea witch Ursula to trade her voice for a pair of legs. Ariel soon realizes that her decision has come with a price, and she must find a way to break the deal and win Prince Eric's heart before it's too late. There you have it, folks. Our top 10 movies of the year, from high-stakes missions to superhero showdowns and timeless classics. This year's cinematic lineup has it all. Which films are you most excited to watch? Or did we miss any of your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, stay tuned for more exciting content right here on Smash List. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing lists. Until next time, happy watching. This is Smash List.